the memory for salespeople. If you could remember everything you've ever done with every single lead you've ever worked with, would your follow-up be more efficient, more productive? Of course. While the Goya phone keeps track of everything you do as it's happening, and the load phone page enables you to remember it later. So let's take a look at how this works. On the top here, you've got section A, but we're gonna start right away with section B and create a new lead selector. And so the first question is, where do you want your leads to be selected from? You can specify a lead sheet. So here you have your folders. One click here and it adds the lead sheets in the list of selected lead sheets. And I click on another folder. And if you want, you can add the entire folder. Click here to remove, uh, pretty self-explanatory. But what we're gonna look for is a selection of our leads from all our lead sheets. And then the second question is in terms of status. We can select uh, all the ones that are new, cold, warm, not, not the gold ones, for example, that we already know about, not the DNCs that we can call. Um, and then we can choose to add some filters. So let's see how this works. The first filter um, enables you to select leads based on dates you've called them. So we can choose to select leads that we've called at any time, or the leads that we've called recently in the last uh, few days, or leads we haven't talked to, for example, in the last two months, the one we've forgotten about. We can choose a specific date, or we can choose a custom range, which means we can select pretty much any range we want. One click to select the date to start, one click to select the end date. Here we're gonna select all the leads we haven't talked to in the last two months, the ones we've kind of forgotten about. And then we can select uh, to filter based on the call outcome. So for example, show me all the leads I've never dialed or all the leads where it always goes to voicemail or they never seem to pick up. So the hard, hard to reach leads, well, one click here. We can select the leads that we haven't talked to for very long. For example, the leads we've talked to for less than a minute or less than three minutes. Or we can go uh, and look for leads with whom we've had um, a pretty significant conversation. For example, all the leads we've talked to for more than 10 minutes. Now, th these are uh, length of conversation. So for example, if you've called a lead 10 times and last one minute each time, well, that's not very meaningful. Here it's leads that we've talked to for more than 10 minutes, meaning leads we've had at least one conversation that lasted for more than 10 minutes. Or we can select um, the last call outcome. So for example, you've called some people over the last couple of days and um, some of them uh, went to voicemail, some of them were busy, some of them rang and never picked up. So how do you find them again? Simply click here, all the ones where it rang, no one picked up. It was busy or went to voicemail and I haven't talked to them in a while and, and enables you to find them very easily. So in this example, we're gonna select all the leads we've talked to for more than 10 minutes. The ones we've had some real interesting conversations with, but it's been over two months and so we've forgotten about them. And the last kind of filters we can choose are filters regarding the sales outcome. So we can say, show me all the leads where I've only scheduled callback appointments. Meaning they said, yeah, call me back later, call me back later. Well, of course we're gonna call you back. We're selling like by selecting this option. Or the ones where um, the last appointment, well, they canceled on you. No problem. We're going to call again. Or the ones where we, we, we've already made a sales call. Remember, when you're making prospecting phone calls, you can select the call outcome in one click, and you want to see all the ones where you've already had a sales call. So interesting leads. Or the ones that were willing to receive an email. If they were willing to receive an email, that means they were pretty interested in what you had or all the ones that are turning cold and warm this week. So that's uh, easy to find them, one click here. Or all the late appointments. Show me all my late appointments, one click, and you find them right here. So in this demo, we're gonna look at all the leads that we've forgotten about. We haven't talked to them for two months, but we've talked to them for more than 10 minutes. Now it took us a lot of time to find these leads. And on top of that, they were really receptive, but we've forgotten about them because it's been over two months and they were even willing to receive an email. So how are we gonna remember about these leads? How are we gonna remember them? Well, simply here, count leads. Ah, yeah, the nine leads that match these criteria. Press load to phone, and they're in the dialer, ready to dial. And you can see here, ah, yeah, Martha Foster, I forgot about her. But with the Goya phone, you're able to remember her. And so that's the strength of the Goya phone. It enables you to remember leads that you would have normally not been able to remember. So on top here, you've got the history of all the lead selectors that you've created. So here's the first one, the nine ones we've just found. You click here, it shows you the details of all the lead selector. Um, and um, if you keep clicking, well, you'll see the other lead selectors. So they're sorted by orders in which you last um, selected them. So you can click here. These ones, uh, we search for Sanders, load to phone. And now 
they're back in the dialogue. We go back to um, the history of lead selectors, the nine ones that we just selected a few minutes ago. Click here, look to phone, and they're back in the dialogue. And when you click here, you can see the details of the lead selector in one click, again here. And that's how the load phone page works. It enables you to remember everything you've ever done with every lead you've ever worked with without you having to do much work. Because the Goya phone is kind of like the memory for salespeople. And that's the real strength of the software. It's the memory for salespeople. Thank you very much.